Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet Rocks. So I said I'd uh, go out and about and uh, we're at Laysdown, which, uh, oh, excuse me, it's so hot in this arcade as you can probably imagine. I mean, the muddy, muddy, muddy away. You can imagine just how hot it is with all these machines going constantly. And I've been winning on the 2P machines. These are the empty bags to prove it. I won Tyler, who's over here, say, hello, Tyler, here he is. Hello. Say hello. So I won him this weird little donkey. And, um, hello. <laughs> no, he says, no. And I won a Coca-Cola mug on a 2p machine which was a bit diff a bit strange winning a, a mug but um, lots of fun stuff in here for kids and well Mike and Gemma who have disappeared on me but I can't wait to get out of here and walk because it is a really crazy hot humid day and here we are stuck in this arcade but they're just changing up their winnings because you know, they get little tokens and tickets. So I'm gonna pause it and I will catch you again when we leave here and I can finally cool down. Okay, so this is this is the actual front at Laysdown. I did film this once as I drove by it, but it was all closed, but that was during lockdown. So we were right up there at the very first arcade and now Mike and Gemma have gone into this one. And if that one turns out not to be any good, this one here, uh, they're going to go across the road, but it's so hot that me and Tyler are going to have a drinky and we're going to go for a walk down the beach. But this is the town, well, little town, and it never used to look like this. Didn't have all these weird big signs draped across places. And some of these things used to be here, but not all of them when I was young. But the beach used to be quite sandy. Um, not really sure what it's like now, but I was hoping to try and go on one of these grabby machines, but it's got um, minion stuff in it. But they're usually a little bit on the um, fixed side, so I don't think I will. Hang on, I'm going to have to try and push it with my right hand. Really difficult pushing this buggy with one hand because it's, um, it's one of those that swivels. So I'm going to pause it and I will catch up with you again when I get down the bottom because around that bottom part um, you can just about see it curve that's the sea in the beach so just going to pause it for now and I'll pick up with you again when we get over there okay so here we are further up you can see it gets a little sandy but this part it's quite a lot of stones on it now it used to be really sandy when I was young but it's quite shingly now those cliffs over there just the other side is where we live um, fair amount of people here today they're not all on the beach but there's quite a lot of them out and about um, further up there is where I used to live and I used to walk all the way along this beach and then eventually we moved there right where those cliffs are but on the obviously not the cliffs round about this how can I show you let's get my finger in where's my magic finger can't get my f oh there we go um, round about um, there that bit there I'd say in the distance obviously not right there that's a seawall so yeah I used to live there and uh, now I live around the bay so I didn't eventually end up far did I but um, it was an absolutely glorious day it's uh, clouded over a little bit but it's still got lots of blue sky and the Sun will come out soon and oh, it's ridiculously hot and scorching so it's just nice to be here by the sea and have a little bit of a breeze it was way too hot in the arcades but the guy in the arcades actually took pity on me because I won a pink tiny piñata and a coca-cola mug that really um, wasn't any good so he allowed me to swap it because there was another machine and he gave me an extra one so I got a Thomas the Tank Engine and a Harold the Helicopter and a Bertie the bus so that's cool and they are die cast so well worth having whereas the mug even so I mean I'm really the gifts you normally get in a 2p machine are pretty poor but these ones in this arcade weren't too bad 
So yeah, it didn't do too bad. I'm gonna try and push this with one hand. Tyler's got his drink to keep him happy. And I just don't know if I can push with one hand. I don't think I'll be able to push on the sand. So there's just no chance of me getting down there. But that little bay, can't really see it here unless we get to the end. But there is a beach, the, the sandy one in the, about, let's see it there. It's a private beach. It's not kind of private so you can't go on it, but it's owned privately. And it's owned by the people who own, there's a holiday camp behind these buildings here and they own that and their name is Love. So it's Love's Beach. <coughs> not called because lovers go on that beach, but because it's owned by people called Love. Wow, it's so hot and I've trod in something now. Something unsavoury. I used to go looking for crabs. Oh, that sand on my arm where I lent on the wall. That's what it is. On my arm anyway. And yeah, so it's... Uh, I used to go looking for crabs in those rock pools when I was little. And when the tide was way out, my mum used to take us looking for cockles. I don't know if you've ever eaten cockles. But my kids love them. And I'm getting a bit too close to a bin and therefore lots and lots of wasps so we'll go the other way trouble is there's more bins so but across the water there you can see some land and that is where we went about a week or so ago when i filmed when i was in herm bay sorry i just got to get a bug off me <gasps> so many bugs you know me and bugs we don't see eye to eye so yeah that was um herm bay over there you can see i don't know if you can actually let's zoom in to find it um, it doesn't look like it, but there is a sandy spot. Probably a you can't pick it out on the phone. Oh man, let's just unzoom. But yeah, there is a sandy spot and across there is Herne Bay where we were the other day when we did a bit of filming and I, it was so hot I couldn't see what I was actually shooting, but I can today. But we've got a lot of these little tufty white clouds coming over. But you know, we do have lots of blue sky. Lots of bugs as well, oh God. I'm never happy, me. If, I'm, if, <laughs> if I've got the sun, I've got bugs. See over there, look, those horrible turbines I hate so much. Putting them all out in the sea. Really, hate those things. They're not attractive like old fashioned windmills were. They're just ugly, ugly turbines. Ah, and uh, those are the radio um, thingy -me jigs that are out to sea. And I was trying to show you them one day, but the, the tide was in too much to see them clearly. But that's left over from the war. And I uh, used to radio broadcast from there or, yeah, still there. Amazing, isn't it? How things still, um, and over in that distance is South End. So uh, it's a bit hazy now to see. Really, really hot day. So, uh, I don't know where Mike and Gemma are. I'm going to go find them. But I just wanted to show you. I did, we may kind of walk down the beach. I think they're going to put the buggy away. And then Tyler's going to have a paddle. So I might do some more filming. He's struggling to get his ball. Look, he wants to get that ball. He's trying his best. His little leg hanging over the side. He desperately wants to get out and play. So I'm going to end off, go find his mum and dad. And see if I can persuade Mike to get out the arcades. Because it's really hot in there, you know crazy I mean I was just literally dripping and behind my ears as well I oh, know darling I'll get it for you so I need to go because Tyler needs me and I'm gonna pause it um, if I come back it'll be because we're walking along the beach if not I'll end it and uh, just upload this thanks for watching me for now and I'll um, I'll see you soon I wasn't able to find them so I just came back for another walk and I found a more quiet spot and this <clears throat> is where I used to live a long time ago. Um, we had this, this shoreline goes all the way around the island, but quite, when um, Gary was fishing at Shell Ness and I went up there, that's as far as you kind of really can go up to Muswell Manor. There's some aviation history up there. So lots of um, statues and stuff, but this part's where I used to walk my dog when I was younger. And the tide used to come in and we would swim in the sea but further along it gets a little steeper and this becomes a big slope rather than stones. But um, I used to walk my dog after school and stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this because these are villas and when these were built, they were really pretty nice, you know, and sought after and quite a lot of money. But look at them now. 
falling apart, literally falling down. And some of them are still kept fairly, fairly nicely, like that one up there, but most of them are just going to rack and ruin. And uh, I heard a story that um, they're going to compulsorily purchase these, and people live in them because they made a mistake in the leasing to say that you could, you know, you needed to vacate for a couple of weeks of the year with the first ones that were built. Um, subsequent ones, they, they kind of corrected that mistake. So really most people go on holiday for a couple of, t couple of weeks of the year. So, um, you know, that just meant that people lived in them. And uh, so I heard that they were going to compulsorily purchase them all and knock them all down and build new places but I don't know what they were going to do with the people who own them. They would have to not give them what they're worth now, I suppose, but whether they'd rehome them, I just, who knows? But as you can see, nothing's happened. But then again, with COVID and everything else, I'd guess nothing has happened anywhere, is it, really? So I'm going to try again to find Mike and Gemma, who are playing somewhere, and I'll come back to you soon. Finally, out of the buggy, throwing stones, little baggage, look at that. <laughs> it's got a ball here to play with as well. I'm getting buzzed by flies, so if I'm shaky, that's why, I'm trying to bat them away. But there's still rock pools at the moment, the, the sea's out a little way. Which is a good thing, I suppose, because otherwise, he went running straight for it. It's lucky it wasn't there. But this never used to be stony, this beach. When I was a child, it was very, very sandy. But with, um, what, what sort of, you see down here you can see, if you look, all of the shells. It's not just, um, just broken shells. And uh, there's loads of them, broken shells. And that was because of the cockle dredges that used to, they come from France and they used to just dredge for cockles out there and then dump all the shells over the side once they'd cooked them and uh, eventually it just made the whole beach like shells and gritty and not particularly nice but there you can see remnants of the old sandy beach but it's totally totally gone but further up there's more sand we've got to wait for Mike he's got to move the car his hours up so he needs to go move it. I don't know what Tyler's doing there. He's being a crab. He's got his, his waterproof little shoe things on. Like frogman. <laughs> Crazy little dude. Bless him. So yeah, we're just sort of here stuck on this bit until Mike gets back. But there's plenty to do. Little bits of sand to play with and rock pools and all sorts we've got a ball so uh, head into the sea pretty big boulders there was always a few rocks out there I remember um, hitting my feet on those while I was swimming a few times and shouting but there's never as many as that it's weird isn't it how things change it was just the odd one or two but you get crabs in those rock pools and little little shrimps so uh, still good fun yeah, lovely day well it's beautiful here it's like cooler here and the relentless sun has hidden behind some clouds so at least it's not quite as crazy as it was earlier when I first came out it was just scorching I can hear a big ship out there, it's a white one, if you can see it. There it is, I can hear the motors. So here they go, off to the sea. It's just wet sand, it's not mud. I hope Gemma can move it. He's getting he's a lot closer than she is. He threw his drink away. I didn't see him do that, but he did. He threw his drink away. Little monster. 
Anyway, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go and play in the sea. I shall see you soon. Wow. <laughs> I didn't come back to you because um, <laughs> Tyler decided to get really, really mucky. He was in those sandy puddles and he just grabbed two or more big handfuls of wet sand and then popped them straight on his head. So he was about this much taller, but it was just so dirty. So when they come back, um, instead of going for a walk, we sort of washed him off and changed him there on the beach. Then when we got back to the car, we had bottles of water and we washed his hair in it. So he wasn't quite so mucky in the end, but he was having a whale of a time playing in those rock pools and playing with the, um, the muddy sand. It's only wet sand, but it gets pretty every much, pretty much everywhere, and he was having a f fantastic time with it. So um, <laughs> that was fun. That was really fun. It was uh, a mission trying to change him without putting him back down again because he had just gone down. And then he, when he did get off the wet sand, he was on the dry sand, and he was just getting it everywhere. So, but managed to do it between me and Gemma me holding him with a towel around him her putting his nappy on while I was holding him <coughs> so it's kind of fun but we didn't do the big long walk on the beach I'll save that for another day so but that was laid down the town centre well it's not really a town centre as such just a little road full of arcades there's a few pubs less than there used to be because that on the corner where there's a golf like a crazy golf thing used to be a big pub and then at the side of it a massive long bar and that was where my parents managed um, it's been long gone and it's now townhouses and a crazy golf area so not even any of it remains so that was fun anyway so um, I'll save my walk along the beach for when there's less people around and I don't have to push a buggy with one arm so that should be fun but by the time you know we went back onto the beach um, we didn't have the buggy anymore so that just meant I had to hold him so I forgot to um, shut the middle door when I went out and um, the back door was open but I came back and it was really hot in the house I mean it's hot and humid anyway but if I'd shut that door then it wouldn't have I don't I don't know it might have been just as bad I don't know but it was just the the heat was getting intense in the conservatory with the glass roof and then it was just bringing it in here so it's a little bit crazy in here at the moment a bit balmy so um, I'm gonna have dinner um, but I'm running a bit late because that was uh, that went on a lot, a lot longer than I imagined so uh, possibly we'll have to do my tutorial tomorrow now and I might pop on for a live stream a little later but I do need a bath because I've got sand in places and my, my t-shirt is lovely and sandy and grubby thanks to Tyler and um, um, you know you just feel like you've got sticky sand everywhere so I'm gonna have a bath and have my dinner and then possibly see you all a little later so thanks for watching and um, bye for now everyone take care <laughs>